This tutorial will give an introduction to Kony Visualizer forms and widgets. This will be the first tutorial in a series of progressive examples, based on the app you see here. This tutorial will cover the basics, and we will get gradually more advanced as we progress through this app, applying more complex principles of interaction design as we work our way through it. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a basic login form of this app. This will cover the basics of form layout using basic widgets with an introduction to flex layout and skinning. I already have a project created. Let's start by creating a flex form. You will notice that on this form, by default, we have the native iOS nav bar at the top, which we call the title bar, and the native tab strip at the bottom, which we call the app menu. I won't be using them for this design. Let's go to the Form tab in the Properties panel and turn them off for this form. Let's start out by dragging a flex container onto the form. This flex container will be used as my background image on the form. Since I want this flex container to take up the full width and height of the form, which is its parent, I will position the top and left at zero and set the width and height to 100%. Next, I will go to the Skin tab and set the background of this widget's skin to Image. I will then select an image from my project's resource folder. To add a tint to the background, I'll use another flex container layered on top. I will use the convenient Fit to Parent option to automatically fit to the size and position of the parent container. I will then give the container a black color with a slight transparency to darken anything beneath it. I will add another flex container, which will contain the login text fields, the remember me option, and the login button. From a design perspective, I want the container to always be a fixed position from the left and right edge of the form. To achieve this, I will give a DP value to the left and right properties. Notice that the right edge of the container did not move. This is because the width value always will override the right value. To fix this, clear the width value. I will then give a white background, a one pixel white border, and a custom rounded corner for the skin. Drag a button into the container. This will represent the login button. I will start by unforking the skin for all of my channels. This will have the effect of quickly removing all advanced native effects, such as the gradient and shadows, in one click. I will then give the button a purple background color, which I have the RGB or hex values for. To anchor the button to the bottom of the parent container, I will provide a bottom value of zero. Notice that even with this value, the button does not obey the property. This is because the top value will always override the bottom value. To fix this, clear out the top value completely. I will also select a custom font, which I have added to my resources folder in my workspace. I will add another flex container, which will contain the login and password fields along with the remember me option. To position the bottom of the container at the top of the login button, I will set the bottom value to the same value as the height of the login button. I will then clear out the height value so that the height will be derived from the top and bottom values only. The three options in this container will need to be distributed equally. To achieve this, I will apply a percentage value to each container, together equal to the full height of the parent. Let's add the first flex container setting the width to 100% and the height to 33.33%. Let's then add a text box for the login field. Use fit to parent to snap to the parent container. I will style the skin appropriately according to the design. Then let's set the placeholder text of the text box to read email address. To create a line as a design element, we can drag a flex container into the parent anchoring it to the bottom and setting a height of 1 dp and styling it appropriately. For the second container, I will simply copy and paste the first into the same parent. I will change the top position to 33.33% matching the first container's height. I only need to change the placeholder text of the second field. I will do the same for the third container I won't need the text box or the flex container line, so I will delete them. I'll add a label for the remember me text and style it accordingly. 
For the logo, I will add an image widget. I'll set the source of the image widget, and since the scale mode is set to maintain aspect ratio, the source image width and height ratio will always be respected, regardless of the widget's width and height. Let's center on the screen using center X and set the width and height accordingly. I will also need to make sure that the image widget is placed on the form, and not within the background container. Let's hit run and use the app preview to do a local preview over the network. Most of the form looks good, but there are some issues. The login container is a white border, which does not match my design. Also, notice the text box when I focus in on it. And notice the focus state of the login button. Let's fix these issues. First, for the login container, I'll set the border to completely transparent. For the text fields, I'll enable the focus skin. Then I will take the normal skin, select copy, and then select assign, which will apply the same skin to both the normal state and the focus state. For the button, I will take the normal skin and paste it into the focus skin. This will create a copy that is not tied to the original. I will then create unique properties for the focus state of the button. Let's fast forward a bit. In the meantime, I've added a find a doctor button. For the remember me widget, we'll use a switch widget. This widget maps directly to the switch widget in the native platforms. I will position the switch widget appropriately. Let's run the app and preview again. Notice the focus state of the text fields, the focus state of the login button, and the native switch widget behavior. This concludes our introduction to forms and widgets. To submit questions, go to developer.coney.com or for more information about Visualizer, go to coney.com, products, Visualizer.